Hey everybody, so this is Gas Kills. I'm going to show you a quick little technical video on Warzone 4. I jumped into this game and noticed the frames are really bad on PC. I don't know about console. I don't have one. Uh, actually, I do have a PS4, but I don't use it for this game. Uh, but I know for PC, a lot of people are running into frame problems, no matter if you have an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA one. For a little uh, clarity, I have a full AMD build here. I have a 7090X... Uh, GPU or uh, CPU and a 7900 um, XTX GPU with 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a pretty good setup. I was able to run Warzone 3 at like 200 plus frames on 1440p. But this game, it was running at like 70 to 80, which is very odd. So I did a little research, found a Reddit post, uh, which I'll reference in the actual comment section below so you can see who actually posted it and thank them. But essentially, uh, essentially, it has something to do with your voice chat. So let me go ahead and show you this real quick. Uh, let me go to my game and cam. And we're at 130 frames. So that's pretty good. That's that's where we want it. But most people start the game uh, having this particular setting off. So we got to go to audio. Got to get a voice chat. And... The one thing you have to do is change this from all lobby, which I'm going to show you what it was default. You can see we have a frame drop of like 40 to 50 frames. That's kind of insane to have an audio thing break it. I have a little idea of what it might be. I feel like there's something going on with the UI uh, when it comes to any audio in the game coming from other players. Uh, you'll see over in the right hand corner of the screen that it's just a little audio pop up. There's no name next to it, but at the very top, if somebody gets the very top position, you'll have a name next to it. I just think like a little bug like that, it can influence the game. Uh, but that's just a little like, you know, a little something there. But you can see we're sitting here around 80 FPS, 70. Uh, and this is just not, it's not great. Uh, so we'll go back in. We'll change this audio setting out so you can just see it again. And it works if you do this as well. It helps the frames. But ultimately, the big one is if you go and adjust the voice chat uh, to on, and then you just do party only. It seems to be the best. See, now we're at 140, 150. Uh, you might, and if, and if you uh, have a different computer than me, it might be worth it to you interchange those two settings to see which one works best for you. Um, this should really, somebody should really send this to um, Treyarch to show them that this is a bug and it's influenced the game and it's not going to help it out. Um, the visuals on this game are getting hard to get used to. I'll actually show you my settings for uh, the graphics so you can have a quick reference as well to what I'm using and to what might look the best for you off the bat so you don't have to struggle like I did. So full screen exclusive, I would always use that. Uh, your screen refresh rate, whatever your monitor goes up to, there's no unlimited option here. Your display resolution. Uh, RGB, keep it at 2.2. Uh, eco mode, don't have that on. I don't use VSync ever. Uh, custom frame limits, you can you can adjust these if you wish and have them be lower in menus and out of focus if you wish. Um, just so you save on heat and, and essentially electrical usage and GPU usage and mileage, I guess you'd call it, which I won't worry too much about that. But let's go to quality. Render resolution, usually keep it at 100 unless somebody's got some sort of bug fix workaround. Dynamic re resolution, I keep that off. I always use Fidelity FX Cache or the NVIDIA Cache as well is a higher fidelity. Uh, looks a little slightly more pixelated, but it's not as fuzzy. Um, I have it set to ultra right now. You can adjust these different settings here as well uh, to suit your needs and feel free to go in there and adjust these and just see which one looks best to you. VRAM target default set to 80, I think that's a good area to have it at, especially if you have a B CPU. Um, you don't want it to really go above 80 because things tend to get unstable. Uh, say like memory gets unstable if you go above 80, the CPU as well. So if you're ever having stability issues, always you can always check your task manager and see if those things are pegging out at like 90 because that'll give you stability issues. Variable rate shading. Apparently this is something that will help performance. I'm going to add that. Um, text resolution, this is all up to you. Uh, the, generally, the lower the stuff, the higher the frames. It depends on how you want the game to look. Um, On-demand texture streaming, you can't change this. 
anymore. You used to be able to turn that off. Uh, and all the rest of the stuff really is not that big a deal. The view, your FOV, depends on how you like to play. I usually stay between 90 and 120. And then ADS field affected. This helps with your visual recoil and things of that nature. Weapon field of view is wide. It makes the, uh, the screen a little more open, so you have less stuff blocking your screen in case you're looking around. Uh, vehicle field of view as well as wide just gives you more, more of the world. Motion blur, always off. Never, never use motion blur, ever. First person camera movement, the least amount. You don't want a bunch of camera shake. Makes it hard to play. And then uh, third person ADS. Uh, this is just whatever you want. Um, inverted flash buying. I don't like that. Some people love it though. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I have for you guys. I hope that little setting there, that little setting helps you out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the Reddit post I found that on. It's a quick little short little post um, just to give that credit to where I found the information. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll uh, I'll be uploading more gaming videos here shortly. Uh, not as much car stuff. I'm kind of bored with the car stuff at the moment. Maybe if I get in their car, I'll do some more uploads there. But I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.